Hey, and welcome to Open for Views 3 Under 3, where we talk about three important stories from across the globe, and always under three minutes. First, the Suicide Squad strikes again. Mark Middleton, President Clinton's <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein hookup, who previously allowed the now-deceased pedophile into the White House seven times, is dead at the age of 59. The investigation into his death, initially reported as a suicide, has been reopened due to the discovery that Middleton was shot in the chest with a shotgun before being hanged. Sounds totally normal to me. Shoot yourself in the chest, rope up, by the book. In other news, time traveling in the Playboy Mansion. Bill Cosby's defense attorney, Jennifer Bonjean, has hammered down on what's being referred to as the Donkey Kong defense. In a sworn statement, Donna Samuelson claimed to have played the 1981 arcade hit Donkey Kong in Hugh Hefner's House of Horrors back in 1975. The defense is claiming that if she misremembered something as simple as the name of a video game, she potentially misremembered what transpired that evening. But you know, as they say, Donkey Kong, Hong Kong, Ping Pong, that guy gets it. And now, a 30-second trio. Jose Zarate, the man who shot and killed Kate Steinle at San Francisco Pier 14, has served his time. Along with his release, the state of California has announced a holiday in his honor, citing his bravery in the face of adversity. Pinball for the Nintendo Entertainment System is finally available on Nintendo Switch Online. Now modern gamers get the opportunity to pretend they played the game, only to call it shit. Speaking from Seoul, South Korea, Wendy Sherman, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State, has warned North Korea against nuclear explosion testing. If they don't comply, all of North Korea will be forced to watch Obi-Wan. And lastly, a viewer-recommended story. Today's story tip comes from Bubble Butte. Good name. Hey, hey, what's your take on the Ethan Ralph and Mr. Mediocre feud? I don't know much about e-celeb drama, so I'll say this. We all know that Mr. Mediocre identifies as a shopping cart, but that doesn't mean he's filled with 15,000 pounds of hot dog filling like that tractor trailer Ethan ran off the road confusing it for his Uber Eats order. Is there a story you'd like to see covered here on 3 Under 3? Send an email to openforviews at protonmail.com. Before we go, be sure to sign up for your chance to win a copy of Gunpowder Studios' Seven Moons Heroes of Dragon Reach. Link to the rules at the top of this video and in the description box. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of 3 Under 3, but the time has come. We were open before, but now we're closed. Beat it.